Checkmate. <laughs> Sunday, another beautiful day. Yep. Hope your five senses work. Health and strength is good. We're excellent. <laughs> Y'all probably like was like, what? He didn't put out anything today? Nothing? I was surveying the landscape. See what's out there. Mm -hmm. Wait, a little more. The usual stuff. Anyway, all right. What I got for you. Listen to this. Valve, uh, Valve's, what's, what's up Steam Deck fans? Steam Deck Tribe, Steam Deck Nation, Steam Deck Universe, Steam Deck World, Steam Deck Legion was good, Steam Deck Mob, what's happening? Steam Deck Squad, what's up? And you Steam Deck nerds, geeks, and freaks, and you investigators, what's happening? Alright, listen to this. Uh, Valve CEO Gabe Newell ordered to attend in-person antitrust lawsuit disposition despite COVID-19 despite COVID concern. Hmm. Says Gabe Newell has been ordered to attend an in-person disposition related, relating to overgrowth developer Wolf Fire Games antitrust lawsuit against Valve despite his request to do it remotely. As reported by GameIndustry.biz, the Valve CEO has requested the remote disposition due to concern regarding COVID-19, but the court said he presented insubstantial evidence to suggest that he is at particular, particular, particularized risk of serious illness. The order, which was filed on November 16th in the U.S. Court for the Western District of Washington, include a statement from Wolfire Game which said Noel is uniquely positioned to testify testify on all aspects of Valve's business strategy and in-person disposition would allow it to adequately assess uh, Noel's credibility <laughs> says here it does offer some per it, it does offer some precaution to alleviate Noel COVID-19 concern However, including that all courtroom participants must wear a mask during the disposition, Noel must remove his mask when answering quest answering questions, though. Wolf Fire Games our CEO David R. Rosen is leading a class action lawsuit representing the game developers against Valve, which asserts that the near dominance of Steam on PC games market increased the price of games due to Valve's Valve service taking a 30% commission from the sale of each game. <laughs> Rosen said that this Rosen said that his motivation for the lawsuit is that gamers and game developers are being harmed by Valve conduct. <laughs> well, that's the end of the article. So let me get this straight. And this and this article is from uh, IGN. And this article has a video in it. I will leave the video in the description box. It's about 14 minutes long, by the way. So let me get this straight. Rose, Rosen said that that his motivation for the lawsuit is that gamers and game developers are being harmed by Valve's conduct. Hmm. Really? Well, guess what? I don't believe it. So let me get this straight. If if Steam store if this if the uh, Steam has a sale right now, autumn sale, and they're selling Dragon Dogma for like about I think four dollars and ninety nine cents if I'm not mistaken. So if if Steam is selling uh, Dragon Dogma in the Steam store for four dollars and ninety nine cents, how is that harming consumers? Yeah. Rosen need to prove he need to prove this. How is that harming consumers? Dragon Dogma that was on the 360 PS3, but then they moved it to the PS4, Xbox One, uh, I think the Switch, uh, PC, and now it's 4.99 in the Steam store. So, how is that? 
how is four ninety how is four ninety nine harming the consumer? Yeah, Rosen, you need to prove your yeah you you, you need to prove your argument. See, this is all stem this is all stemming from this is all stemming from the Microsoft Activision uh, court case. This is just res this is just residue. Because basically, because Sony just went through a, uh, Sony just went through a lawsuit. I think it's like seven billion, and they, uh, I think they lost about. They, they went through. They went, They just had a lawsuit. They just got sued for like seven billions by the UK. But now it's Valve's turn. So now, Rosen is says that his, his motivation for the lawsuit is that gamers, and game developers are being harmed by Valve's conduct. So let me get this straight. A game that used to be sixty bucks is four ninety nine right now in the Steam store. How is four ninety nine harming the consumer? Rosen, you need to prove it. How is that harming the consumer? Just saying. But other than that, though, like I said, this is coming from the Activision uh, court uh, court case because you know the FTC in the UK was trying to go at Microsoft and they were trying to learn about. Game Pass, and they basically they never had a case in the first place, and they were trying to go at. They tried to, uh, they tried to single, they tried to take Nintendo out the picture, and then try to make the case about Sony and Microsoft. The FTC lost the case. The judge gave them eight reasons why they lost the case. So then the UK they quit stalling on the deal because they were trying to come up with some some kind of evidence claiming that uh, uh, Microsoft buying Activision. Is the uh, is the lesson of competition, and that statement is not even true. So now, right after that, now so now Sony's getting their dose. Now they're being investigated by the UK for practice. They just lost seven billion. So now it's Valve's turn. And now 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 they um now Rosen is saying that uh, from Wolfire Games is saying that uh 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 that uh. Game develop uh, game developers are. Be he said uh, motivation for the lawsuit is that gamers and game developers are being harmed by Valve. By Valve. But, but now Rosen got to go in the courtroom and explain how is a game f that's four ninety nine in the Steam store is harming the consumer. They, he needs to prove it. So yeah, um, to me this this whole thing um, this is like a domino effect. I mean, um, Microsoft got their dosage, got their dose. So now Sony's getting their dose because the FTC looked bad in court. <laughs> so now the UK now and the FTC, they, they went after Sony right after the Activision court case. And now Sony lost, they got sued for about $7 billion. So now, they, now it's Valve's turn. Now it's Valve's uh, turn. So to me, this looks like all uh, cloud chasing when you really look at it, you know. And um, Steam has been around for... For quite some time now, <laughs> and um, they I've I've never known Steam to like break any rules, or me I've never heard of it and, until now. So um, they um, Wolfire Games now they they need to come up with they, like I said like I said in the um, Activision court case when I was when I was doing videos on it, they got to come up with some solid concrete evidence, and if they don't have it, then they don't have a case. You know, they got to come up with some solid, concrete evidence. And yeah, and if they can't prove, if they can't prove their argument, you know, um, then then it looks bad on them. You know, so yeah, um, taking a thirty per, taking a thirty percent commission. Come on now, I mean, if I if if I if I have a store, if I have a store, and then I'm selling game, I'm selling video games. Of course, I'm supposed to get a cut from this from the sale that's in in, in in the store in the store that I have. The developer is supposed to get get a get a cut, and the uh, the owner of the um, the CEO of the store is supposed to get a percentage. That's a part of the, that's a part of the game. So yeah, um, and the and the, the consumers now they get discounts on a lot of games when these sales go up. Yeah, but other than that, man, to me. To me, this thing looks like they're just looking for some, looking for something to stick it, to stick it to, uh, to, um, to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to Valve, I mean Steam's, to the Steam store, you know. But I think, uh, but 
they, but uh, uh, Rosen got to prove his argument in court. You know, if you're gonna file a lawsuit, you got to come up with some solid, concrete, solid, concrete evidence. And if you can't, um, if you can't come up with it, then what you filing the case for? You know what I mean? <laughs> so yeah. Um, but Microsoft went through Activision, the FTC, and this a CMA went at Microsoft. Sony thought they were safe. <laughs> Now the UK went at them over over anti what's it was it what was this again anti <laughs> anti what was it uh what was it uh, over anti antitrust lawsuit Sony got their dosage now it's now it's uh now it's Valve's turn so yeah <laughs> so it's the nature of the business you know it's a na you know it's it's the nature of the business and um. Lawsuits, lawsuits. They, I mean, lawsuits being filed. It's a, it's a part. It's, a, it's the nature of the business, man. So we'll see what comes from this, you know. And um, yeah. And a lot of times too. And a lot of times too, when they file uh, lawsuits too, especially like in a situation like this, they're trying to learn more about the how how Steam does how uh, how the, how Steam does does business, you know. They don't they don't have enough information, so. They file the lawsuit so they can learn more about how Steam does uh, uh, business when it comes to video games. You know how how it affects the how 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 it affects the developers and then how it affects the consumer. You know, if you remember during the um, during the uh, Microsoft Activision um, uh, court case, um, you know the 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 FTC lawyers. They were telling Microsoft, like, oh, you're not being transparent enough. We need more evidence. So they filed a lawsuit, but they never had a case, so they need him so they need Microsoft to turn turn over more uh more more information so they can so they can um so they can build so they can build their argument and build their case. They never had one. <laughs> That's why they lost. That's why the judge, what's her name? Uh Jacqueline Scott Corley gave gave them like Gave, gave the FTC like eight reasons instead of ten <laughs> why they lost, you know, so, yeah. That's why the FTC lost, you know. Um, they tried to remove Nintendo out of the picture. That's one. Then they tried to make the case about Microsoft and Sony, right? A high-performance console market. But if you've been playing video games as long as me, then you know we've been having high-performance consoles since the the Turbo Graphics days, <laughs> you know, way back, way back when. Those consoles were were high performance consoles for that time. So to now act like so to now act like high performance consoles now are new because we're in the PlayStation in the PlayStation 5 and Xbox uh, Series X era. <laughs> they 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 never had one. They never had a case. So they removed Nintendo out of the picture. They they try to make they try to make it like uh, Nintendo wasn't even a factor in the business in the business. But if you do your history, you know that Nintendo was the one that uh, that I saved the, that saved the video game industry when the video game industry was in a um, was going through a, going through some times. So yeah. <laughs> but other than that, man, um, when it comes to these uh, lawsuits, these antitrust lawsuits, a lot of times these attorneys they don't have enough information. So you know they 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 uh, they file they file a suit to learn more about the business and see. What harm is being done, you know, to the consumer? I mean, to the to the developers, or what harm is being done to the consumer? You know, that's how it works. So, yeah. <laughs> so it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting to see what they um um what 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 really what really comes from this. So, yeah. But other than that, man, um, they um uh, what's uh, uh Wolf Fire Games got to come up with some solid. They have to come up with some solid, concrete evidence. If not, they don't have a case, you know, because the judge, the judge that's in, the judge that's overseeing the case, he can see, they can see through it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So yeah, they can see through it. So uh, they're gonna have uh, uh, Wolf Fire Games and uh, Rosen got to come up with some solid, uh, concrete uh, evidence, you know. <laughs> yeah, if they can't come up with it, the judge is gonna toss the case. Yeah, nature of the business. Anyway. Let me know your thoughts and opinion on this one. Hope you enjoyed the video. 
Nice talking to you people again. Chris, so Star Wars started playing. Work, dark side. Oh, God. Peace.